I would like to make a few comments concerning the difference between the black revolution and the Negro revolution. What is the difference between a black revolution and a Negro revolution? I'm telling you, you don't know what a revolution is. Because when you find out what it is, you'll get back in the alley. You'll get out of the way. You haven't got a revolution that doesn't involve bloodshed. And you're afraid to bleed. I saw if you're afraid to bleed. Long as the white man sent you to Korea, you bled. He sent you to Germany, you bled. He sent you to the South Pacific to fight the Japanese, you bled. You bleed for white people. But when it comes time to seeing your own churches being bombed and little black girls murdered, you haven't got no blood. I hate to say this about us, but it's true. How are you going to be non-violent in Mississippi as violent as you were in Korea? How can you justify being non-violent in Mississippi in Alabama when your churches are being bombed and your little girls are being murdered? And at the same time, you're going to get violent with Hitler and Tojo and somebody else that you don't even know. <laughs> if violence is wrong in America, violence is wrong abroad. If it's wrong to be violent, defending black women and black children and black babies and black men, then it's wrong for America to draft us and make us violent abroad in defense of her. And if it is right for America to draft us and teach us how to be violent in defense of her, then it is right for you and me to do whatever is necessary to defend our own people right here in this country.